Next question is from Andy Rodding. Is it normal to want to sleep 30 to 60 minutes after a workout? Nope. No, that's not normal. It sounds it's, sounds fun though. Yeah, I know, right? Um, you know, here's the thing, like, mm. and this is one of the most uh, um, important things I think I ever communicated to clients, and it really was effective uh, for them, at least. I would tell them that after their workout, they should feel good. So Energized. you should, you mm. should, yeah, you should leave. What I would say is, you should walk out of my studio and feel more energized than you walk in. You should walk out feeling more motivated, more productive, and sharper than you did when you walked in. If you walk out and feel wasted and dead and like you need to go sit on the couch for a couple hours, uh, then we went too hard. Now, there's, there's nothing wrong with those rare workouts where you're going to the gym and that's the goal is to see what you're made of and test your capabilities. But the vast majority of workouts, you should after you're done, you should feel amazing you, that, and, and judge it off that because yeah. if you don't, you went too hard. And now here's the thing. This is when people have a tough time. They think... Well, this can't be too hard. I only did this much or I only did that much. Why am I? It's it's all relative. If you feel like shit or feel like going to sleep after your workout, whatever you did, even if it was 15 minutes on the stationary bike, that was too much. You got to go easy. You should not feel this way after you're done with the workout. Yeah, I've been thinking about this too because I've had like moments where that'll happen to me, like where I'll have a workout that didn't seem like it was that intense and I'll just want to go to sleep. And really, I, I take it back to being overstimulated and having like too much of that, you know, early in, in the morning and then like overdoing it to where uh, now I'm I'm adding this added bit of, of stress to the body and, and like I just feel like fatigued from it, like, like, more so than I should be. So it's just this, this, uh, you got to do sort of an inventory of stress and, and figure out like where you're at in terms of uh, outside, uh, you know, external factors, like uh, whether it's like stress from work, whether it's stress from family, uh, you know, all these other stimulants and things you're adding in, in, you know, your routine, like a lack of sleep, uh, lots of different factors that, you know, and then you're working out. And then after that, you know, you may have a propensity to want to just go to sleep. It's interesting that you, you share your your story because I, what I was going to say and allude to was that in my experience with clients, um, what's actually really common is is overstimulating. So is using so much caffeine and pre workout, yeah, the, mm -hmm. the crash, right? And they crash hard afterwards. So it's like you're you're taking a cup or two of coffee to start your day, then you also slam a pre workout, which is another 350 milligrams. Then you go get after it in your workout. And then you just, it's the crash. It's the come down after, afterwards. I thought I read a long time ago, and I think you corrected me, Sal, on this or not. I I think I, I thought that caffeine was, um, like everyone's, we always refer to it as like an upper, but what happens chemically in the body is what gives us that spike in energy is our body trying to fight against it. Are you familiar? It increases the circulating, uh, I can't remember the chemical in the brain, but it, it actually increases the amount of it that circulates. And that's why you get an energy spike from it. Right. So the way it works is not necessarily like it, it directly is a stimulant, but yeah. rather it causes uh, your body's production of these uh, chemicals to yeah, yeah to, to be more effective. But but yeah, that's a good point. Um, if I overstimulate, I definitely will crash for sure, and I'll notice it a couple hours or you know two or three hours later. I mean, if you take a stimulant before your workout, he, here's how you know you took too much. You feel out of breath. Uh, more than you normally would. That's what happens to me. So mm. I'm doing a, a, a high rep set of squats and I find myself having to stop and rest longer if yeah. you feel like your heart rate is a little too yeah, fast. Your heart rate's racing too much. Yeah, a little dizzy. If you feel like you're, you're like shaky or you know too aggressive, that might be too much. Um, and then you, you might get a crash after.